put on the mic. It's about to start. It's caught up. Just do it there. There, there we go. Hi guys, my name is George Afirakis and this is a first episode of Trust Me I'm Greek. We are video recording the uh, our favorite places in our holiday, or, well on our holiday in Kefalonia. Uh, we decided to stay at Scala for this holiday. And what we'll do is part of this video is show you a couple of spots that we really enjoy. We'll be coming here for over eight years um, and share those, those uh, venues and places, restaurants, bars, cocktail bars, beaches, and special locations that are really special to us. And hopefully you'll like them too if you do decide to come to Kefalonia, Greece for your holiday. Um, this is a non-sponsored video. So anything that we do is in, uh, sponsored by any of the restaurants that we're visiting or any of the venues that we're visiting during this, uh, this uh, recording. Really hope you enjoy it. My name again is George Zafirakis. Thank you for watching Trust Me I'm Greek and let's take you on our journey. Okay guys, how you doing? Right, so we are in Scala uh, Main Street. This is the Scala Village, um, as you can probably see around me. Um, a lovely little place to kind of walk around, get lost and discover new places. But this is the main strip. This is the main strip where you will see all the main restaurants, which I will be taking you through uh, in a few minutes. So uh, let's, uh, let's go. to get into the uh, area in Scala. Just come along, let's show you around. Okay guys, so we are still in Scala and one of the other venues, apart from really nice beaches, restaurants that you can go to, if you want to get something special for yourself, for your loved ones, a special occasion, like we did, uh, you should definitely come to, for us, in our opinion, one of the top jewellery stations in the whole of Kefalonia, Veronica's Jewellery. You can find it on the high street of Scala and there's other locations as well across Kefalonia. Argostoli and in Lassi. Just wanted to double check that with the actual venue owner. Whilst we're at that, please say hello to the team. They're here. If you have any, any demands, if you want to pre-prescribe them or anything like that, they're fantastic people. The prices are very, very reasonable and 
They're very friendly people. So every time we come here, they say hello to us like, uh, like we're part of the family. So come and check them out if you want to do that something special for yourself or your loved one. Over and out for now. See you soon. So anyway, there you have it. We have given you the quick tour down this main strip of Scala, um, but there is also a continued strip that goes in from that street there all the way down, uh, which we'll show you another time. Um, but there's also another series of restaurants there that we would recommend. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Um, we are gonna say goodbye because we're gonna go and grab a quick drink and, uh, and a meal at our friends at Michelatos. See you soon, bye. <music>
has always been consistent throughout every every single time and always improving the menu, the food, and the service they give to their clients. So I thought I'd give you some uh, real-time talk with one of the uh, the restaurant's greatest. So Nick, thanks very much for joining today. Thanks for giving me your time. George, thank you very much for your kind words. I'm glad to be back with you. Yeah. You're like family to us, you know that. Thank you, yeah, I know. Let's, right. let's go through a couple of questions. So, like you mentioned, what I'd like to understand is you're a family business and exactly. your, it's come from obviously your family uh, heritage in terms of the food, the, the direction, the experience, the, the, the fusion and the inspiration. So tell us a few things. So a little bit about where you, you guys have come from, what sort of experience can customers get when they come to the restaurant and why really should anyone come to Michelato's restaurant for a meal? Alright, so my grandfather and my grandmother started the restaurant. My grandfather was a chef in the ship. He started the business 42 years ago, so it was the foundation for us. Yeah. He shows us a way that we can make great things with a traditional base. Perfect. So what we do here is we have traditional food in a modern twist, which Excellent. is very important to keep the culture, you know, to remember where we're coming from because that's the most important thing. Yeah. In Greece we have amazing ingredients, as you know, we use the best products. Yeah. You taste them. They're very already. good. Very good. We use olive oil, kefalonia feta cheese in order to make dishes that give you a real orgasm in the mouth, <laughs> as we call it. That stand out, basically, exactly. in terms of the food. Brilliant. Exactly. So tell us, um, and obviously you're, that's come from stem from your grandfather, come through. It's a family business, so your exactly. dad, your uncles, yeah. everyone still works here. What about your chef? Tell us a little bit about your chef. All right. So our chef is uh, from mainland Athens. He he worked many years in mainland. He's he's been in the Santorini, Mykonos. So we tried to bring him here, and finally we got him. Ah, he's brilliant. Kefalonia way, you know. Yeah, how, yeah. <laughs> so Good. he's very dedicated to what he's doing. He wants the product to be the best. Uh, he goes, he picks himself the vegetables. He goes to the fish market. He picks the fish the salmon, uh, the tuna, himself. That's very wow. difficult in our days. He wake up six o'clock in the morning in order to have best product and fresh, obviously. That's amazing. So. Okay, so tell us a little bit. Thank you, by the way, Nick, that's great. I mean, to find a chef like that, who's dedicated to source the food and make it in a very unique way, I think is exceptional. And you're maintaining, like you said, the, the heritage of the food. Tell us a little bit about what, what customers experience coming to the restaurant unique food and outstanding service. Everything starts from food. If you have great food, then the service has to be equal with the food. Yeah. So what that means is we take care of the customer. It, like it's a party, like a celebration here. Yeah. You come to enjoy. You come here to take your time with your wife, with your friends. Uh, from start, from the beginning to end, mm -hmm. we take care of you. We want you to enjoy. No pressure, we give you time. We explain the menu, we explain the wine list because we have great wines also Perfect. to complement the food. We take time with the customer. I enjoy talking to the customers, you know that. Mm -hmm. I like, you know, the personal conversation, that, that feeling. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, from my perspective, I know I'm Greek, but my wife is, uh, is English. Um, and I think you, you spend equal time with all of, all of your customers, like the way we've seen it, and you make us feel really comfortable, so that's brilliant. And then in terms of, what's, what would you say is the one unique thing coming to eat at Michelato's restaurant? It's a unique experience, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's something that you don't find easily in our days, but the food and the service, it will be unforgettable. Brilliant. Traditional food with modern twist. Remember that. I like it, All I right? like it. That's great. Nick, thank you very much for your time today. Really appreciate it. Pleasure. It's, uh, it's an absolute pleasure. The food has been excellent. And by the way, this is not sponsored in any way. Uh, we are paying customers and we'd like to do that time and time again. We've been here for eight years. So if you're in Kefalonia uh, and you're wondering where to go, you are not in Scala or in Katilios, but you want to make a journey in, you should definitely come to Michelato's restaurant. Uh, it's also five minutes down the beach from Scala Beach. Or if you are in Scala Katilios, you should definitely uh, come in at least once to say hello to Nick and the team uh, and also enjoy their great food and their amazing experience. So once again, thank you. Cheers. Yamas. Cheers. To good health. To good health. Let's do it. Thank you.
Okay, we are in Scala, right at the bottom towards the beach. You'll see now uh, the beautiful views of the sea. What you'll find is actually if you're, if you're coming up, or coming down rather, from the Scala Road, main road, sort of like a hidden little uh, spot. Uh, you'll have to walk down, I'll show you later on on the video, but you'll have to walk down, um, come down and turn right, and you'll find a sort of a little a secluded little spot here. Um, where it gives you access to the sea clearly and you also have lovely little sunbeds uh, I think they're just eight euro for a pair um, and of course you've got all the amenities around you but it's a great spot because it's a little bit away from the main strip where it's quite open and gives you that sort of little nice quiet little relaxed vibe which is just what everyone wants when you come to Kefalonia Okay, so we're right down at the Scala Beach now. Um, as you can see, we've got light pebbles here. A few pebbles into the water as you go through. Um, nothing too heavy. Uh, if you do need shoes, it's probably advisable to get the pebble shoes, which you can probably get from most of the shops. Um, but yeah, as you go further in, the pebbles sort of decrease across the area. Lovely little spot. Very nice. Okay, so still at the Scala uh, beach area, just off Milos uh, bar, restaurant. And one of the things that is quite very, well, say very popular here in Greece generally is having uh, iced coffee. So you'll have two options. You've got your frappe, which is pretty much iced Nescafe coffee, usually a bit of milk, sugar, if you want it. If you want to have it with, with a bit of sugar, you can say medium, metrio. Uh, or sweet if you want, uh, probably more than medium. Um, and then of course you have your Fredo Cappuccino which has become very popular at the moment. So there's a number of those. So I highly recommend Fredo Cappuccino, medium, lovely. Ah. Mm. Gorgeous.
Okay, so uh, we are at a restaurant called Socrates. I'm here with my wa lovely wife. Um, and we just had a wonderful meal. So, again, this is a, it's at the corner of Scala. Um, if you're in Scala, definitely come and try it. Hands down, one of the best restaurants that you can ever come and eat. Um, the cooking, the chef, the heritage behind it all is homemade. Um, it's basically the, the motto is they cook as they would cook in their own home for their children. So, and, and it's hands down uh, very true to that testament. And I'd say the food is lovely, lovely, really nice. Also, local produce of wine from Greece. We tried the Ionos bottle of wine, um, mid sweet uh, red, really nice. And if you are here, you definitely have to try the cheesecake. Uh, I'd say we both we both love that. Anyway, we're going to meet the team in a minute, but um, this is Socrates in Scala. If you're here, come and check it out. Okay, again, coming into the venue, uh, if you come and say hello to the, the team, you will see um, the kitchen is right over there. What I've noticed right behind me, there's a big wall of photographs and each of those photographs is with each of their customers that they've had coming over the years. And by the way, each of those customers have been here on repeat years, on repeat evening, coming to the same venue every single time. That for me is a big, big sign that the, uh, the food here and the way they treat the customers is unique across all of the other venues that you'll go to. So check it out, Socrates, just off the corner of Scala. So, hi everybody. Uh, we are here again at Socrates, a uh, restaurant in Scala. I'm here with the infamous chef, uh, Eleni Adamopoulou. She is, uh, well, it's a family run restaurant, first of all, I just want to point that out. And we have been coming here for eight years and only for the first time I've tried it. And I have to say, it's one of the best restaurants that I've eaten uh, with my wife. And yeah, we just wanted to get the, the inside story from Eleni herself, who's the chef here and part owner of the restaurant. So Eleni, thank you very much. Thank you for very, your time very much. today. Thank you. Um, so just tell us a little bit about the heritage of this restaurant. The restaurant is here from 1992. It's a family restaurant. I got married with Socrates 2002. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I am here uh, since uh, 2001. And uh, I had the best teacher in the kitchen, my mother-in-law. Her name is Rebecca. She's still with me. But now I she have... She is how old? She's uh, 84 now. 84, and yes. she's in the kitchen with you as well. Yes. In the morning, she's always with us. We are the best team. In Good. the evening, she is going to get rest. We are uh, the younger uh, members of the family. Good. And everybody is so exciting and uh, about the food. And I say the all to all of them that I had the, the best teacher. That's why the student is better than the teacher. That's a very nice thing to be said. Very, very good. So um, it's, I mean, you, I think somebody told me that the way that you cook your food for your customers, yeah. you cook it for your own kids, your own family. Yes, 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 exactly. Yeah. And uh, the, the produce is, it's your own produce? We have our own olive oil because we have many olive trees in mainland and here. And uh, we try to be everything fresh. And most important is to keep the traditional. Perfect. We try to cook as all the women in uh, Kefalonia were, work, were cooking. Yeah. Uh, my best uh, and uh, the food, the plate I love is Kefalonian meat pie. Oh. At first, this was my <laughs> very, um, I was very worried if I can uh, make a Kefalonian meat pie, meat pie so good as my mother's-in-law. And how does that compare now? What has she said to you? She says that I am best. <laughs> okay, I am good. the best. I am much better than <laughs> her. So I had a very good teacher. Well, that's a good thing to hear. That's really good. So your local produce, local olive oil, 
but you also work with local businesses and supporting the local businesses with other produce of as course, well. Of course. What would you say would be, if a customer is coming to Socrates, what would you say would be the best dish or one of the best dishes to try out? The best is Kefalonian meat pie okay. and uh, then uh, uh, beef stifado. Very nice. Another one is very nice and tasty is uh, lamb cleftico. Brilliant. Yes. And also we have the uh, charcoal. Socrates is uh, cooking the charcoal. We have uh, ev uh, all meat is fresh. All. Uh, and I have to say I tried both. I tried the meat pie today and I tried the charcoal lamb chops. That was delicious. So. Well, I will speak to you about the food. Yes. And this is not my opinion, but my customers' opinion. Yeah. Uh, Beef stifado, they say, they say to me that is uh, to die for. This is what I usually hear from them. Uh, and uh, what I added in this menu is my cakes. I make a uh, cheesecake uh, in, uh, with strawberry uh, jam or with caramel on the top. Nice. My favorite time is when I cook uh, desserts. Yeah. My favorite is uh, the famous lemon pie, Eleni's lemon pie. Very good. And uh, cheesecake, uh, I make uh, cakes uh, for birthday if they ask me to. I make uh, for, uni for uh, anniversaries wow. if they want to have cake from me. Uh, and uh, I love making cakes. I make banoffee. I try every time to mm. cook, uh, except from the basic, that is lemon pie and cheesecake, to have uh, some. Bring it in. Fantastic. Uh, and one other thing I'd say, Eleni, is uh, what I really like about this restaurant is that everyone is close, like close family here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then also you come out the kitchen just to check if the food is good, <laughs> if the customer, you know, the customers are happy with what they've eaten. I think that's that's brilliant. One last thing, what would you say to our viewers um, if you come to Scala and you come to Socrates? What is the other thing that they can expect to see or experience from uh, from a customer experience? This is a traditional and uh, familiar uh, taverna. We keep. Uh, we try to keep Greece in this uh, small taverna. Mm -hmm. We do our best. We are family, and that's the most important. And we want all our customers to feel that. Uh, that yeah. To feel that they are home. Perfect. That's why we have many, many customers that they come back again and again every year, and some of them twice a year, yeah. May, September, again. And we have customers uh, since 1992. I would say that they have to come even once to Socrates Taverna to to be part of our family. Yeah. Uh, we we welcome everybody and we want to be a member, a real a real uh, member of our family. Absolutely. And I was sitting here a couple of days ago actually, and I had a couple that's sitting behind us, and they said they'd be coming here for 30 years. They exactly. know you guys from then. Their grandchildren are now coming here and they all love it. I mean, that is that is phenomenal. One other thing I'd say, Eleni, is um, you always care about what customers experience. And I've seen you come out and check in if the of food course. is good. And um, thank you so much for putting that level of effort in your food and your thank experience you to have customers. Much. Big hug. Thank you Yama. very, very much. much. We've got to say yamas to the people. Cheers to everybody. Cheers. Thank you again for giving me some of your time. Of Have a nice Yama. evening. Yama. Thank you very much.